most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living in a time with having. When I do my consistent message in mantra that I composed, gosh, maybe four years ago when I was still living in my home, I can tell you that people sort of responded to me. And the reason they responded is because they were really regarding the fact that they were working really hard in their individual businesses, their entrepreneurial practices, but they still hadn't made it yet. They still hadn't made that $100,000 mark a year yet. And I understand that. There were other people who were marvelous speakers and went in and out of communities, in and across the state line, and they were able to do that. But those are individual, singular type of small businesses. And when we work for a corporation, it's totally different. We've got a salary, we've got benefits, hopefully, and we've got a lot of opportunity to participate in teamwork, to learn from other people. But as a single business entrepreneur, you wear a lot of hats. And when you wear a lot of hats, one day you might be accounting, the next day you might be credit check, the next day you might be a salesperson, the next day you might be an executive, the next day you might be a meeting presenter, and so on and so forth. Because you're always working. And you have to know how to manage your time so that you do quite well. You see, there's a lot of people who work really hard in life, but they get nowhere. And then there's a lot of people who work smarter in life and get somewhere. But that's on your version of what is success and what isn't a success. Some people might have looked at my life and said, I wasn't a success. Not true. I was a success up until the point that I had a downturn in my personal life, which naturally would impact the professional aspects of my life. We also had a downturn in the economy, and then we had the launch of COVID. Within all of that marvelous experience of mine came identity theft, fraud, police brutality, and cybercrime on my life.